here we are getting out of a tunnel in uh, Barcelona, Spain, or going towards Barcelona, Spain. I'm yep. here with Andre. How are you, Andre? Hi, uh, good to partner with you today. Excellent, yeah. So I'm gonna ask my favorite question when I'm in these kind of drives and I have the opportunity to drive with some of my colleagues. Yeah. What is a Mexican driver with a Russian yes. co-pilot doing in Spain driving a Swedish car owned by a Chinese company? <laughs> right, that may be soon produced in the United States. Oh, hey, I have to add that, yeah, exactly. Not maybe, well, that will produce in the United States by 18, uh, yeah. next well, year, so. Yeah, they like, said they're gonna build a sedan, right? Exactly. And maybe, maybe another model, but they share the same platform. Yeah, the sedan of this version, the X is 60. So, how many countries were there? Mexico, Russia, China, Sweden and Spain and yes. six countries with yes. the United States. That's amazing. I Very love that. Very international. <laughs> and it's a global vehicle yeah. sold in that a lot of countries. Else. That makes uh, perfect sense. So Andre here with TFL. Yep. Uh, and uh, we, I've shared some time with uh, Roman, Maika, yeah. also yeah. from that channel, one of the most successful channels. So you already driven the car. This is my first time driving it. Uh -huh. in, uh, it drove like 100 kilometers or 60 yeah. miles around that. So what did you think about it first? Well, I really like, and the roads, by the way, in Spain are amazing. Amazing, so yeah. Very good quality roads. Unfortunately, the speed limits are very low, <laughs> yes. and there's a lot of cameras, but... Yes, but when I got it into the twisties, I put it in dynamic mode, Yeah. and I could feel everything kind of shift around. Um, the throttle was a lot more touchy, and the car was kind of ready to pounce and kind of go forward. Um, and also... It was fairly uh, stable in the corner. And fairly, yeah, this yeah. this car has the air suspension, so that helps a lot with uh, when it's uh, in a more dynamic setting. Mm -hmm. And it's very interesting because uh, the way that Volvo has planned their strategy in terms of powertrains, they kept the same powertrain from the XC90, which yes. is like the bigger sister. Yes. And in a much smaller car, so the the ratio between power and and weight obviously favors this one and and that's what you get when you drive in dynamic right yeah you get more performance Volvo quotes the T6 at a 5.6 seconds 0 to 60 yeah, it's pretty amazing which is a really it, quick it's time. close to some sports cars actually yeah. so there are three variants uh, for the engines the T5 which is 250 horsepower the T6 which is this one that we're driving 316 yes and then the T8 which is coming in September to the US 400 horsepower that's amazing amazing and there's no other car in this segment that has that kind of power except for the Porsche Macan Turbo but then the price right, goes, goes, goes through the roof with the Porsche and this one is very accessible actually right yeah so for the T8 plug-in that model starts around fifty three thousand dollars well, of course, you can add a lot of options and yeah. kind of get the price up there. But only to 55, I believe, right? Uh, well, 55 is this car. Oh, okay, this one, yeah. uh, T8 will be a little bit more expensive, but you also get a $5,000 credit in the United States. Exactly. Be Tax credit. Be being a, a blowing hybrid vehicle. So yeah. a lot of advantages I see that uh, Volvo has been uh, gaining against the competition and they're aiming Please take the next exit to 44 onto the C31 and then keep left. Okay, lady, we know where we're going. Uh, so Volvo is taking a lot of advantages with the strategy that they have taken, like simplifying the powertrain, simplifying the model, utilizing the same platform for all the most successful vehicles yeah. in the past few years. So they're in a good path. Just now us. exit right. Oh yeah. I'm not paying attention, but that's I told okay. you, that's why you want a okay. Russian co-pilot. I'm a navigator. <laughs> Left in 300 meters the that's why you need a Russian co-pilot in Spain driving a Swedish car owned by a Chinese company this when is, a Mexican is driving. This, this is paying great. attention. Now keep left. This is awesome. Again, Volvo doing really, really well uh, around the world, actually. They sold 20,000 of this model in the past year with the last year of the previous generation so that's pretty and still their best seller right yeah that's impressive because that car was obviously out for what six or seven years yeah. it was kind of getting a little bit old um, and then this is an all new model available this year and I think they've improved kind of every aspect right the style the it's interior pretty, exactly it's pretty amazing even the the, wind, uh, the wipers that yeah. has like a new system in yeah, with little the water squares comes out of the actual blade yes. it's coming into from the blade so it makes it like more efficient to use that water so they really pay attention to the smallest smallest details and one of the ones that I really love the most is this one 
<laughs> a little flag. Yeah, a little flag. Swedish, Swedish flag. Swedish right. proud. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> That's wonderful. So a fantastic car, really, and uh, another great opportunity. The day today is a kind of cloudy, but it gives an opportunity to do something else. Yeah. And this is standard in all the cars. So actually, I opened the sunroof. I didn't want to do that. I only want to open the shade. And there you go. Oh, no, I did it again. Why don't you try it? Let me, let me see. Maybe it needs a Russian touch. Exactly. I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, one touch. There Come, you go. Wow. So every model of the three variants that they have yeah. in different uh, packages, versions, include the panoramic sunroof. And you, if you count it, how long it took, you can tell how big that is. That's a long, that's a <laughs> big, big panoramic roof. And I'm impressed that it's available in this base model. I know, but I think that's another way for them simplifying the production line too, because let's say, look, let's build them all the same, lower the price in the production line and offer a more competitive uh, price uh, when, when it comes out to the customers. Yeah, also all of the 2018 XC60s will be all-wheel drive. Exactly. And that's no another, option, yeah, no option for front. Uh, again, like, when you go to the dealership and you want one, like I mean, some people might think that they want the all wheel, the front wheel drive, but if it's already available at this price, I don't know why would, wouldn't you want that, right? Yeah, and this car, I asked them, you know, uh, what have they done as far as curb weight? They, they said the car weighs approximately the same from the previous generation to the new one. And, and, and that's even when they had added so many more technology, especially the pilot assist, all the safety uh, features that they have. 400 meters and follow the C31. Okay, we're almost finishing the, the route here, back to the airport. But again, a lot of technology, great design, exterior, interior, great drive, driving dynamics, great technology now with the GPS left. that keeps talking to us. Yeah. So really enjoy the time here. I appreciate in, it. In uh, Spain, and I hope uh, we can add another country the next time we drive together. All right, let's, let's go. Think about some other combination. <laughs> what can you think about? Let's go to England. I don't, I don't <laughs> okay. Know. Well, let's okay. go to England with a um, Korean uh, car. Um, yeah, Kia, <laughs> Kia Stinger. How okay. about Kia Stinger in England? There you go. Okay, okay, that's a good idea. I don't know if we can do that, but thanks a lot. Thank you.